earlier in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about how to configure DNS and edit bindings of IIS so see one thing is there that uh, we can't uh, run a IIS server we can't run a web server uh, without its host name and uh, we did uh, operate a websites via IP address but it's hard to remember IP address and it's hard to tell in the public so that's the reason every web server have a host name and uh, even in the practice where this is and in the real life we do remember of uh, web names and we do remember domain names now currently you can see I, I, I have a, a basic uh, IIS server, a basic web server, and it's having a very simple IP 192.168.1.1. And uh, this is very easy IP address, but it's very hard to find search in the public. So that's the reason uh, we have to bind uh, this particular web page uh, to the host name. And uh, that's the reason we have to go through. Uh, uh, a DNS configuration and if DNS is already available in a domain then surely uh, we will able to bind that with this particular website now you find the option called edit bindings in the site option uh, in sites I have two sites which is tech uh, I'm configuring it and uh, in the edit side binding you can see the IP address 192.168.1.1 and uh, apparently only one IP address is there port number is 80 and uh, host name uh, particular host name I want to bind I want to uh, expose in the public so for example given uh, a domain called www.techengineer.tv and this is what the uh, uh, web domain I want to expose, wants to uh, bind. Now you can see currently it's not working because uh, uh, this particular domain uh, is not configured or not registered in the DNS. Now in the real world, what exactly happened in the real world, uh, you need to purchase a domain from a, uh, from a registrar, uh, just GoDaddy or, or Babos thing, side or whatever it is. So, Corinio just wants to add a host in the DNS. For example, it's www.techengineer.tv. So, www will be uh, the name, and fully qualified domain will be www.techengineer.tv. Now I'm just entering the PTR, which is used for the reverse. And now, since we already register, or since we already uh, put uh, a uh, put uh, 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 details of our our DNS, then uh, that's the reason the host is already present. Now, once again, we're going to bind this site edit and this is the whole thing we're, we're going to bind currently this uh, we just just edit it once again we want to uh, refresh the thing we want to repeat the thing now there is no more binding out there we just remove the binding we're once again going to repeat our steps edit host name with www.techengineer.tv and uh, hit ok close now we're just going to restart our IIS manager and you can see now screen you can see the browse website is now bind with uh, the each other so uh, and you can see the host name is now www.techengineer.tv before the web page was opening from IP address now the web page is opening with the domain name itself because we just bind our domain and uh, with the IP address with the web page so this is what exactly we used to do uh, what 
thing is there that one maybe the domain registrar be purchased domain from some uh, web host site and the host particular so it could be uh, from two different sites so a domain seller will sell the uh, domain name the host name and the host will particularly uh, sell the uh, space of their end or space of the domain uh, so two different sites uh, sometimes and we have to bind with each other bind both with each other and you can see currently when we remove the host name when we remove the domain it's once again start opening with the ip so hope you learned something about how to bind 